They will bother nice me. I will just be like, go, go, go. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Very cool. All right. This is a very exciting day again. for Ivy Acres Homestead. Start of a new chapter. just picked up our first goats. Our intention is to breed them and sell the kids and use their milk for ourselves here on the homestead. I just wanted to send out a big thank you to Ashley who we brought our goats from. She's friendly, very informative and helpful. We feel really good about our goats coming from her small family farm up in Washington. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to go over. I give everybody one of these um, when they come and pick up animals. So first off, most important, these are going to be their yeah, registry. Um, and this is going to be their bill of sale. Okay. But these are also information that I like to give you guys. I know you've done a ton of research. And it's wonderful. It's no, no, it's, um, you do. It's great. Around in so my this head. is just things that I've found that work for me, okay, that, yeah. are, that make me a little bit more um, comfortable if something does come up. Um, so it's mainly, you know, what I have on hand, you know, my IV mm -hmm. kit, my, you know, syringes, yeah. all that fun stuff. Um, common illnesses and medications, um, and then proper dosages for oh, just good. certain medication. Good. And they go re really, really easy. And then I would like to email you this um, this whole chart. Okay. It's a huge one. I, I found it online. And um, you can do, like, kidding histories. You can do, you know, oh, just good. all sorts of fun good. stuff for each individual animal. So really super easy. Um this is yours and then um yeah do you guys have any questions i don't think so i think kind of mm -hmm. figured them out last yeah. time yeah 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 awesome very cool well well i had a quick question yeah. <laughs> why would you say it's a good idea <laughs> yeah. to get certified goats well it depends on what you're wanting with the um the nigerians so if you do want registered goats it's because you're going to potentially sell um, you're going to potentially, um, you know, breed and you, you know their lineage completely. You can't get a mess up on that. Um, so it just depends, you know, and I think some unregistered goats are really super healthy and they're great, but they don't have a background of what you're trying to breed for. So ADGA really helps with breeding for the best animal you possibly can for this breed to make it a better breed, not just to breed. Um, so that would be, I guess, my reasoning. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, all of ours are uh, registered, and um, yeah, that's okay. all I got. <laughs> well, just just for my own information, yeah. what would you say is your favorite and your least favorite chore with taking care of goats? Okay, well that's a toughie because I almost like to do everything with them. My least favorite is probably drawing blood um, just because it's time consuming and I have to take a lot of people um, with me for me because um, I'm okay at it um, I am a phlebotomist um, actually mm. for humans but for goats it's a little bit different and I need at least you know one holder and um, sometimes two depending on how stinky they are so that's my least favorite um, my favorite is probably milking because it's early in the morning, nobody else is up, the animals are just getting it's up. It's a peaceful and, routine. Yeah, it's a peaceful routine, and they want to, you know, they come up and they want to jump up on the stanchion, and um, that's my favorite, yeah. And then cleaning stalls, of course, actually is my favorite too, because my kids are at the age where we have little tiny pitchforks for them, and they come and they yeah. make a mess, <laughs> but it's a family thing, yeah. So that's, honestly, that's a toughie between the two, because it is starting to become a family-oriented um, little business we have going on. So, right. yeah. So. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on, Ring.
Let's I'll go. get out of the way so it's easier. Are you gonna come in? She's our most shy. These these little baby goats just uh, come right up to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> this, uh, you're talking a little in. back there, aren't you? You guys are in. I know you're being shy, aren't you? <laughs> Wendy brought a a little cage. Perfect. For one of them. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably well, work probably for one of them. them. You think both of them? Because it's not very big. Sure. Yeah. But, okay. They'll fit in, in. They'll lay down against each other, and, and okay. they'll be more comfortable that way for sure. Okay. And, you know, they, they look big because they're kind of fluffed, but they're not too bad. I'll see. Um, I'll bring one in at a time. I'm just going to grab them and carry them in. That way they're okay. just... Did you want to try moving a goat yourself? No. no. Okay, not yet. <laughs> but well, if I can't they, gonna, they know gonna, Ashley, so. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to move them. Then um, we get to our place. Yeah. Then um, that would be great. And yeah. then I'll just grab one at a time. Okay, Bill, we'll be right back. There we go. Okay, Coco, scooch. And if one gets out, it's not the end of the world. They just know that that's where the food's at. Okay? Yep. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, yeah. The 20 some goats. And now we're just down to, you know, a handful. I can actually probably count them on all my hands. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me double check on that. I'm sorry. No, Give you guys some cake. And um, yeah, you guys will be on your way. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure to bring them food or anything. Oh, no. Because no. I was like, it's an it hour away. Won't be it, to be honest with you, but it's there. Um, I'll give you this. And that way we can stick it in there next time. Uh huh. Hi, girls. That's <laughs> cat. <laughs> I know I shut it weird. My son's always having trouble with it. Oh, there's your thing. Oh, there you are. Either lay on it or um, eat some of it, do, do whatever. <laughs> there you guys go. Little happy with and your what, buddy in there. What's your um, YouTube again? It's, it's Ivy Acres Homestead. Ivy Acres, that's it. Yep. Awesome. There's two of them though, so okay. The I'll make sure to watch it. you. <laughs> <laughs> Homestead, awesome. That way I can follow. Them. Um, that's wonderful. Well, that's guys. Exciting. Very exciting. I hope it's a nice, calm drive home. Um, just keep in mind, they may talk a little bit. I had one of my girls all the way from Olympia. I came and dro you know picked her up from Olympia. And... Sweetest goat. Oh my God, she talked the whole way there. I'm like, I made the worst mistake in my life as I'm driving. And now that she's here and settled, she's great. So I hope that doesn't happen to you guys. Um, I it hope won't it's just bother nice me. I will just perfect. be like, goat, goat, I have a goat. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, you guys have any other questions? Mm -hmm. so, okay. Excited. They're very excited. If you do have any questions, feel free to email me. And like I said, if I don't know it, I will find somebody who does and get you the answers. Um, but hopefully, you know, they've already, I normally give them their cd &T vaccine um, uh, right before killing season, so that would be like December or whatnot. So they're due okay. around that time. Other than that, okay. they've been all up to date. They've been all tested negative for everything. I mean, it's a closed herd, so yeah. yeah. It's 
shouldn't have any issues. Okay. But, yeah. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> Thank you All so right, much. guys. Well, it was wonderful meeting you. And yes. um, I didn't jab her too much. Did we, we gave her the money for it. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah, good. Yep. Good. Yes. Everything's good. I made sure I got it out. So I <laughs> went down until I was, was in my eye. Because I, oh. I do that. I walk away and I'm like, oh, too. shoot, we got to drive back. I forget. I, I have. I've had to mail it back. Oh, oh God. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you get so excited. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, right. awesome. Well, drive safe yeah. and yeah, let me know how it goes. Okay. And, and like I said, any questions, let me know. Okay. And okay. I'm, I'm here to help. Right. So. Thank you. Awesome. Well, yes. have a great, great, great day. And yeah. Um, yeah, I hope they just settle in really nice for you. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very cool. All right. This is a very exciting day you. for yeah. Ivy Acres Homestead. <laughs> Start of a new chapter. So Wendy couldn't actually wait for us to get home with the goats. She crawled into the back of the van to ride with them and give them a little little uh, treats and some attention on the way home. We called ahead for pizza because it was getting a little late and uh, got, to the, got to the pizza place and just hung out in the parking lot a little bit while we were waiting for the pizza to get ready and uh, played with the goats a little bit. Did you want the animal crackers? So which one likes you best? What? Which goat likes you best? Those lights don't work. They both love me. But Valkyrie likes me best. See, she likes to nibble on me. I think Rogue has a real pretty face. They're both pretty. Valkyrie's eyes stand out a little better though. Very expressive. Yeah. She's got kind of a sweet jaw too. Her little face is sweet. They're so pretty. Aren't you girls? Pretty girls. not talking right now. They must be pretty relaxed. They're not too bad, are they? <laughs> so what do you want to do with the goats when we get home? Just uh, put them in their uh, temporary goat shelter or uh, let them explore a little bit of their fenced in area? So it's February 29th, 2020, the extra day in our leap year. We just got our brand new goats, our first goats, yesterday. Brought them back last night. Yeah. Wendy's been out here all day checking on the goats. Probably emblematic of what it's going to be like for the rest of the year. We'll be probably be spending a lot of our extra time out here with the goats. They've been pretty chill in here in this little uh, little shelter we built for them. Haven't really been exploring anything outside. They've just been staying in here. It's been been a real. Uh, Rainy day, a lot of hail outside, so they probably just uh, just want to stay dry. Goats don't really like getting wet. Or maybe they're just, uh, just a little unsure of their new home right now. It might take them a little while to get adjusted. <laughs> 